He kept the core just inches from criticality, using only a screwdriver to keep it apart from a neutron reflector. The screwdriver slipped. A blinding blue flash filled the room. In that instant, physicist Louis Slotin knew he was going to die. It was May 21, 1946, at Los Alamos National Laboratory. Slotin was demonstrating a criticality test on a 6.2 kilogram plutonium sphere, the same one that had killed another scientist, Harry Daglian, just nine months earlier. Daglian had accidentally dropped a tungsten carbide brick onto the core, trapping radiation inside. A similar blue flash erupted and he died 25 days later from acute radiation poisoning. This time Slotin's slip caused the core to go supercritical for less than a second, but it was enough to deliver a lethal dose. Witnesses described a sudden wave of heat and a metallic taste in their mouths, the unmistakable signs of deadly radiation. Seven others in the room survived with varying symptoms. Slotin lasted nine days. After the second fatality, the plutonium sphere was finally melted down and never used again. By then, it had earned a name whispered with fear among the scientists, the Demon Core.